In my previous video, I referred to this wonderful establishment in Dublin, owned by a very close friend of mine, and know the oasis of beautiful objects. And one of the things that really fascinated me was a ring which bore the title of Tutti Frutti. Now, for God's sake, don't um, imagine that it's studded with peas and cherries and garlic. It's studded, with, obviously, with diamonds and rubies and emeralds. And it's, you know, it, it's so unique in, in its name and in its design. The design was, came as an inspiration to Jacques Cartier, who ran the London branch of the House of Cartier, after he had visited um, New Delhi in 1911 for the Durbar of King George V. He was absolutely dazzled by the jewels worn by the Indian Maharajas and in the 1920s set about creating designs based on what he saw. And the, the, these, these items actually were less expensive than hitherto you know, uh, Cartier jewellery because the stones used were not as smooth as those favoured by um, while they were favoured by the Indian, Maharajas were not f favoured by the American and English ladies of society. But it, it was in 1937 that it really became known when it took the fancy of a lady called Daisy Fellows, who was the heiress to the singer Zoe Machine Empire. She wanted something flamboyant because she was a very elegant and, and obviously a flamboyant society lady and she had a necklace which was called the Collier Hindu uh, commissioned from the House of Cartier. It was <laughs> massively uh, covered in these uncut, uh, well not smoothly cut stones and caused a sensation and the design took off from there. They were, the name for the designs and the jewellery was originally called the Hindu jewels, but it, it, that changed in the 1970s when the name Tushi Fruti came into being. Now, if you're going to give your beloved one a Tushi Fruti ring, for goodness sakes, show her the ring first, otherwise she'll consider She'll think that it's covered with vegetables, fruit, and you'll be in trouble. Bye.